So in this video I'm going to go over how to uh, pull up your GCC versions, G++ versions, and GDB versions um, after installing Minimalist new for Windows. Uh, this is an install that's usually required um, on Visual Studio Code whenever you're doing C or C++. And um, one of the problems that people tend to encounter is that the path environment is not set up correctly. And so I'm going to show you how that works on Windows. And so first you want to make sure that you know where your uh, MinGW folder is. Um, usually the default is going to be under C. Um, it'll be under msys64 um, and you want to head over to the bin folder under the ucrt64 folder um, and then this should give you the location of that binary folder. Um, this is a directory you want to go ahead and copy because you'll need it later. You're going to copy and paste it to the path environment variable. Um, so two things. One, uh, when you search for environment variables, um, you'll have two options. You'll have uh, the option to edit environment variables for your account and then uh, edit the system environment variables. So what happens is uh, if you select the first one, you'll notice that there is a user variables for your profile and people tend to update this one and add the directory here. Um, we actually want to update the path here under the systems variables uh, section. But as you can see, you can't really edit create a new or delete any uh, variables or paths or v any values that exist here. So uh, what you want to do is you want to go back to your search. You want to edit for the system environment uh, variables. You'll get this little pop-up with the system properties. Uh, most of you are familiar with this already. So you click on environment variables here at the bottom right corner. And then you'll notice that the edit button is now available. You go ahead and copy and paste the path to M664. Um, click OK. You want to click OK here and OK here to save. And you can go ahead and open up a command prompt screen, terminal, whatever you're using. And uh, you can now search or you can now look for the version of uh, each uh, for each GCC, G++, or uh, GDB. All right. Thanks for watching.